Hi everyone. Okay, so for today's quick guide, I'm basically going to be showing you how to create uh, tubing or wiring using three different methods within uh, Fusion 360. This has actually been requested on my Facebook page a few times. Uh, some people have basically been wondering how they can create uh, cables or tubing for their design. So I'm basically going to be showing you how to do that. And uh, let's start off with the first method. And we're going to be creating cables using a loft. Right? So um, basically... This form of uh, tubing is not going to be a traditional tubing where it's just a circle, but I'll be showing you how you can actually get creative with tubing and you'll be able to blend between different shapes. So I'm going to go into the sketch function and I'll select the spline. I'll select the spine and you can just draw out anything here. It doesn't really matter. So I'll just draw that shape out. I'll click on stop sketch. I'll go to construct and construct a plane along a path. I'll create a plane over here. We'll use the traditional circle. I'll click on stop sketch and then I'll go to construct a plane along a path and we'll create a plane up here as well. And then I'll sketch on this plane. This time we'll be sketching a rectangle. Okay, so like I said, uh, this is a bit unconventional. Um, you know, it's not your traditional tubing method uh, since we'll be blending between a circle and a square. But like I said, if you want to get creative with your tubing, this is one method that you guys can use. So uh, in order to create this form of tubing, uh, what I'm basically going to have to do is go to create loft. I'll select this as my profile and I'm holding down control and selecting that as my profile as well. Now you'll see that it's not following uh, our spline sketch. So in order to actually make it follow that spline, what we want to do is here by guide type, we want to put on center line and just select that spline and you'll see that it automatically follows that spline and now if we click on OK we've got this really unique uh, and creative shape uh, for creating tubing now like I said this is definitely not your traditional form of tubing but if you want to get creative you can definitely blend shapes together to create uh, unique forms of tubing right so I'm going to hide that and now let me show you the traditional method for creating tubing uh, so basically what you want to do is we're going to create a circle and select this bottom plane and I'll just draw out a circle. Now, how big I make the circle is basically going to determine the overall uh, size or uh, diameter of our uh, tubing. So I'm not, gonna, I'm not going to make my circle too big. I'll just draw it about 8 millimeters and I'll click on OK. And then I'll just select the sketch. I'll right click, go to extrude and just extrude this up. I want to make sure that my body's uh, not hidden. I just want to hide our previous tubing that we created. So that was body one. Then you just want to drag this up a little bit and you want to click on new body. Then you want to go back into sketch and I'm going to go into the spline mode. Uh, actually, no, I'm going to use the line. But now you want to make sure that your line intersects uh, with this object that we just created. So I'm going to start my line from here and then we'll just draw something out. So Let's add a curve there, a curve there, and I'll just draw it forward. And I'll right click, click on OK and stop sketch. Now in order to turn this into a traditional form of tubing, we're, going, we're going to be using the sweep function. So I'll click on sweep, I'll select this as my profile. And remember since it's intersecting, this operation is definitely going to work. And then my path is basically going to be the sketch that we drew earlier. So as soon as I select that, you'll see that uh, it turns red. It's basically trying to make a cut because of that intersection. So you want to make sure that your operation is on new body. And then as soon as I click on OK, you can see that we've created this really nice uh, form of tubing that's followed that path that we just drew earlier. And then obviously I can go back here. I can fill at this edge and just continue uh, building on from the tubing that we created. So see, I'm just extruding that out. If my operation is on join, if I click on OK, I can basically just come here and fill it this so that it just blends a little bit more dynamically. And that's how you guys can create uh, some traditional tubing for your designs. Now I'm going to show you one last method. And um, I would say this is probably my favorite method for creating tubing, uh, just because it's extremely uh, flexible and it's got a lot of versatility. 
when it comes to creating different shapes and it allows you to dynamically modify that shape as well and we'll be going into the form uh, the form tab of Fusion 360 uh, the T-spline tab uh, so we'll just click on this icon over here to create a form and you can click on OK so basically what we want to do here is under sketch we'll be drawing a spline Again, so I'll select that plane and just draw out anything. So that should be fine. Okay, actually, I don't really like that shape. Uh, so I'll just be using the line tool again. And again, in order to create these arches, I'm just holding down the left button, uh, left mouse button, and it automatically creates that arch for me. So let's say. Okay, that's fine. Else I'm going to be sitting here the whole day trying to create a sketch that I'm happy with. Okay, so that's fine. And now, in order to create this into tubing, we can do this just by the click of a button. It's really simple. You want to go to create and you want to click on pipe. So as soon as I click on pipe and I select this is my path, you'll see that it's trying to... Um, create this tube in here but you'll notice that the object that's being created is a very as you know it's got all these hard edges it's square and that's exactly what we don't want so in order to uh, change that we, we just want to click on the smooth display or you can uh, press alt and three and you'll see that it automatically changes that into nice rounded you know rounds off those edges and it creates this nice tubing for us and then if you want to change the overall size of the tubing it's just under here under global diameter so put mine on 10 10 millimeters for now and the reason why I said I prefer creating tubing in the t-spline mode is basically because now it gives me a lot of versatility I can go ahead I can I double click and select this entire edge I can right click go to edit form and now um, okay you can see the modifying the selected entity will dissolve the sculpt pipe feature uh, cancel to maintain. That's fine. You don't have to worry about that. Uh, but let's say we want to continue modifying this pipe. Uh, you see, uh, if we hold down Alt, and uh, let's say I just drag this forward. Actually, wait. Let's just rotate this a little bit first. Move that a little bit forward, a little bit down. And then if I hold down Alt, and I click on this arrow, It's basically going to allow me to continue building on from this tubing. So if we weren't happy with the initial shape or we wanted to add some more, uh, you know, we just wanted to add on to our piping, we're capable of doing that in the T-spline mode. And we just have to hold on Alt. And again, I just drag. And you can see that it's continu uh, it continues to build on to that pipe. All right, but I want to show you something quickly. If I click on finish form, you'll notice that this is actually not a, a completed body, right? And we cannot modify this at all. So I'll show you two methods to fix this. Uh, the first method is to go back into T-spline. And we basically go into, uh, you can either, let's say if you want a, a hole that goes through the piping, we can go to modify and we can go to thicken and we can select our body and we can just drag this in let's say about two two millimeters should be fine thicken type we want to put it on soft and then we can click on ok uh, actually wait we don't want it soft let's just go back right click thicken we want to make sure that sharp let's drag that in as well click on ok you can see now you can have a form of tubing like this where you've still got uh, this section hollowed out and now if I click on finish form, you'll see that it's a completed body and I can go back and I can apply a fillet to these edges. Oops. Okay, so I'm not 100% sure why the fillet's not working. Okay, there we go. That was strange. But anyway, we can go back and apply a fillet to these edges and continue modifying our pipe. So that's one way to turn it into a body that you can continue modifying. Uh, but I'll go back into T-spline mode and another method is to basically double click select these edges 
And we're basically going to be closing these edges. So in order to do that, we go to Modify, and we go to Fill Hole. And you'll see yours won't look like that immediately because I have these settings that were in here previously. So you just want to change this to a reduced star, and you want to make sure that Maintain, uh, maintain uh, Crease Edges is checked because yours is probably unchecked now, and it looks like this. So as soon as you click on Maintain Creased Edges, it makes sure that you know it maintains that uh, shape that we had there earlier. Now if we click on Finish Form, we've got a body that we can go back and we can continue modifying this body and building on from it. So uh, that's definitely my favorite method. L as I said, uh, there's a lot more versatility and it just allows you to do a lot more with your, your tubing or your cables that you create in Fusion 360. Right guys, I hope this was useful and uh, thanks for watching and stay tuned for some more tutorials. Alright, goodbye.